Aloha, this is Drone from Nonstop Tech, and today we have a quick look at another cool game that came out from Firemint called Flight Control Rocket. So if you've played the original Flight Control, you kind of remember it was pretty much you had to draw little lines and land planes, and then you also had obstacles in the way, everything from other planes to the aircraft carrier that moved to one that had an emergency plane that had a, pretty much had priority over everything. This one, um, it kind of takes it into space, adds a little bit of a science fiction flair to it. One thing that has changed that is different from the original, you have a little shop now. When you go inside, you can buy more coins. There's different robots, which I'll go into a little later. And you also have items you can pick up. So batteries are for the robots. Every time you use a robot, this charges the robot's batteries. You have to pretty much, if you want to use it often, you need more batteries. Your robots also gain experience, and that's where these crystals come into play. So you can buy those to kind of boost the experience gain. So that's one thing that's different. You can pay real money to buy the coins, but just play the game and earn the coins that way, unless you want to throw more money at it. When we actually start playing the game, the usual tutorial at the beginning, check it out. Um, this one is just like the original game, where you just keep on playing till you cause crashes. You now have three lives versus just one, so if you do screw up, you have a chance to continue on. This one actually has it set up for different stages, so once you finish the stage, you go to the next one, and you just keep on moving on till... Have, well, I haven't reached the end yet, so I can't tell you till when. So let's start off just to kind of see what it looks like. So we'll start with the flight school, because, heck, I don't know how to land planes, I guess. So the actual level's kind of the same across the board. has not changed. You it doesn't change even if you pick a different level or if you pick a different mode. So all you do is you draw the line, land the plane, and great, success. This actually gets to be really, really fun. Um, it looks kind of boring right now because there's not a lot of spaceships on the screen, but once it starts building up, let me see, let me land this yellow one real quick. I'm actually going to exit out of here real quick so we can show you a little more, uh, I guess, a busy screen versus just one spaceship at a time. So we're going to go actually just mess around with the Intergalactic Odyssey. So my trusty sidekick is going to be my robot that gives me critical score points. And if you hit on the eye, it kind of shows you if he's fully charged. If you go down here, the power crystal just gives him more experience. You can pay coins to actually have more than one robot if you want. And you can unlock more robots by earning more money. So we're just going to play right now. So on the sixth level... Uh, it used to be the airplanes were kind of the same across the board on the original flight control, but now you have ones that like like these split in half, so you kind of have to worry about them getting in the way of each other, especially when you have a whole bunch of plane or sp I keep on trying to say planes, spaceships on there, and you have coins that come across that gives you more money. You have a little multiplier down here in the center, and all that does is the more of the same color you land, the more of a multiplier you get. So oh, and if you get ready to crash, it actually gives you kind of bullet time so you can avoid the crash. So this is still rather easy, but it gets more hectic as you continue on. So is it a worthy successor to the original one? In my opinion, yes. For the low price of, again, 99 cent, you can't go wrong. And Fireman has been really good about adding more and more levels in later down the road for free. But I'm worried that that, again, might become an in-app purchase, but they haven't broken their track record of providing uh, more free updates. So Flight Control Rocket uh, gets a thumbs up from me and I'd recommend pick it up if you have the spare change.